never give up. by getting after it and hit and hit and hit some more. That's what this game is and that's what you're going to do tonight. If you're on the kickoff team, who makes that big hit. Here we go, please stand up, kickoff team. Smith, Don, Winters, Renneke, Brown, Layton, Jackson, Hickman, Jens, Engel, Young. One, two, three, you get the first big hit, guys. Kick receiving, here we go, kick receiving, Renneke, Cloud, Hickman, Canepo, Grimm, Anderson, Murray, Jackson, Brown, Winters, Kendrick. One, two, three, Bunting, gotcha. Winters. Ford, yep. Canepo, yeah. Grimm, yeah. Casper, Cloud, Gendrick, yeah. Jackson, yeah. Murray, yeah. Hickman, yeah. Blake. One, two, three. One receive. Winner, Brown, yeah. Kepps, Renneke, yeah. Hick, yeah. Ford, Murray, yeah. Jackson, yeah. Young, yeah. Engel, yeah. Gendrick. Yeah. One, two, three. All right, fellas, take a knee now. This is where it's at. Your home opener, fellas, you are going to get after it. Each one of you is going to make and the best hits of your life, and you are going to take care of business from the get-go tonight. Take the knee, touch the knee. Questions asked me how I thought Olmstead would do this year. I think the team will go as far as the offensive line takes. It's a, it's a young, inexperienced offensive line, and as they mature, uh, at the rate the rate they mature will determine how far the team goes this year. I expect you guys to go out there and kick butt and get touchdowns. We have to score more than the opponents. The key for getting on in this season, one, stay eligible. Two, focus on your targets. Run through those blocks, hold those blocks. All right, I think what the tight ends and receivers have really bought into this year is getting better every play. It's uh, always fun, good time of the year. The, uh, Team is coming together nicely and we're looking for improvement. Uh, if we get better every week, who knows? We've got a chance to contend for the conference championship and then after that we'll, we'll worry about what comes down the road. But right now, the young men's focus is on, on the conference championship. Right shoulder! That was better, Ronnie. That was better. Bring that thing down like you mean it. Bring it down like you mean it. We had a good camp. Uh, I thought that the kids, most, most importantly, they worked hard throughout the camp. They uh, they hustled, they ran to the ball well. We got a lot accomplished in terms of introduction of scheme. We walked out of there very confident. They've shown an ability to run to the ball. They've shown an ability to diagnose what the offense is trying to do. And then probably most importantly, they've shown a commitment to what we want to do and, and really getting it right. Ball! We've got a great group of defensive backs uh, coming in. Um, guys that have had experience in the past, guys that uh, have been with this organization for for a long time. Um, I'm expecting a lot of good things. Hit. One nine one. What was major? Six. This year was fantastic. Going to Concordia is an experience like nothing else. The opportunity to bring players together, 
Uh, in that kind of a setting where you're just thinking about football for three days is, is absolutely wonderful. The D-line worked very, very hard. Uh, we had some new people come on over, so that has been really, really a positive for us. Okay, here we go. Ready? Let's go. Give me, just take who we got. We got stretch going this way. Center, get set. We must uh, get smarter week after week, get used to seeing different fronts and performing, playing at a high level. Brad Thorson is leading our offensive line. Uh, we have three good starters. That expectation has to go from week to week. So we have to do exactly that. Set. Set. Ah, that was a modified five step, two extra good or better. I don't want that. I think uh, we have we have a, a great outlook this year. I'm very, very impressed with how hard the boys have been working, especially when we were off at camp and working hard in the heat during two weeks. Uh, we have a couple of rules that we'd like to live by. We really don't want to have any really terrible turnovers to put the kids the, and the team in a bad position. And if we've got a wide open guy, we, we've got to get him the football. Training camp's always interesting because we start over basically the kids are like you know they're fourth and fifth grade we're talking about the everything the basics how to stand how we want their hands to look how do we want them to, to focus on things so it's always interesting to, to see the kids go from finishing the year at the top of their game to coming back to the beginning and starting them over um, they did real well um, it's also tough on the tight ends and wide receivers because they have to run so much constantly running routes running drills um, and Skelly, and we came through pretty clean, so I was happy with that. No, that's all I did. You know, so I'm not getting tired from the time. Oh, yes. it's that's the guy! You still cannot stop. A 300 pound offensive. Hey, yeah, uh, talking about the 2005 football season, fellas are doing a great job. We had a great training camp over to uh, Concordia. Our guys worked hard, they came together, spent uh, three days, two nights. Um, eating together, working hard together, meeting and, and just getting to know our know one another. A number of our seniors have taken that, that mantle of leadership and, and helped to lead our young kids. And it's been a real awesome experience for, for the seniors and for all of us.